Okay, this string of colored letters represents the message RNA that was transcribed from the DNA message magic code. Each group of three letters is referred to as a codon. This message RNA is what is sent to the ribosome for the process known as protein synthesis and translation. Let's start with AUG, which is the start code. When the AUG lines up in the primary site on the ribosome, a new molecule known as transfer RNA comes in, commonly known as tRNA. And the transfer in it, RNA has the what is called the anticodon. So you can see we have complementary base pairing. The transfer RNA ventures out into the cytoplasm to locate the appropriate amino acid. In this case, it is known as methionine. So methionine hooks into the other end of the transfer RNA molecule. This transfer RNA molecule brings the methionine to the ribosome at just the right time. And the methionine is released from the transfer RNA. So in our model, that will be the result. We've delivered the first amino acid. At this point in the model, the next codon, which is GGG, is locked into the A or active site in the ribosome. And the corresponding transfer RNA is going to have the complementary code. This RNA has traveled out into the cytoplasm to find the appropriate amino acid that corresponds with the codon. In this case, it happens to be glycine. So the job of the tRNA is to bring the glycine to the ribosome at just the right time. So at this point, we have two amino acids. They are joined together in the process known as dehydration synthesis, releasing a molecule of water and forming the peptide bond. The codons, as they reach the ribosome, the respective anticodon and the transfer RNA brings the next amino acid, which is proline, then followed by valine, Serine shows up twice. Finally, we end with tryptophan. When the stop code reaches the A site on the ribosome, the process stops. The ribosome separates, releasing its polypeptide strand to go off into the cell to do whatever job it was supposed to do.